What's up guys? Thank you for watching today. I'm going to be talking about my four style rules that I constantly live by. I kind of came up with these rules after I moved to New York because, you know, I don't have a whole lot of clothes, but I have a small closet that my medium amount of clothes don't quite fit into very well. So having these four style rules has really helped me put outfits together, get ready in the morning, because as soon as I open my closet, all I see is like a lot of material mashed together into one tiny little space. And we all have different budgets on what we like to spend on clothes, and fortunately these rules apply if you spend $100 a month on clothes or if you spend $2,000 a month on clothes. You know, don't think you need all of these clothes to look look stylish and uh, feel good about yourself. They work for me, so I really, really hope that they work for you as well. All right, so let's get this video started. The first rule that I made for myself is always adding a third piece to your outfit. And it's still a little bit chilly here in New York City, so I have tons of like lightweight little bomber jackets that dress up even a pair of, you know, t-shirt and jeans. The green one is from Zara. It is also one of my go-to throw-ons because it's a spring color. It just kind of, you know, makes your outfit look a little bit more dressy and a little bit more put together. And the black one is kind of the same idea. This one's from H&M. And I've had this jacket for like three years and I wear it at least once or twice every two weeks. This next jacket I got at H&M. This is you know, one of my go-to pieces if I'm just kind of running around during the day or I just need to add a little bit of print or color to my outfit. My next blazer is from Banana Republic. I like to wear it during the daytime when I want to do like more of like a casual menswear look. This color is great because it's almost got like a denim effect to it and denim is my favorite neutral. It just goes with everything. So my next rule is adding a statement piece. This kind of ties hand in hand with adding a third piece. A statement piece is is, for example, a belt, a necklace, a hat, something that's gonna stand out and really make your outfit kind of tie it together. My personal favorite statement piece is always a hat. This black hat I got, oh my god, where did I get this? I think I got this one at Forever 21. And you guys, they've like totally stepped up their hat game. Oh, they used to suck and now they're awesome, so way to go, Forever 21. The next example of a statement piece is like a really cool bag. So if you wanna dress your outfit up with a bag, definitely go for something with texture or, you know, print or something hanging off of it, like a tassel or a fur ball. These two bags are both from Zara. The red one I got recently to take to LA, but then I ended up forgetting it, so that was annoying, but um, yeah, so I really love this red one. I plan on wearing it a lot during the summer. The black one is actually also from Zara, and it's my go-to when I wanna make my outfit a little bit more boho and just add a little something to it. You know ASOS always has really great statement bags. I was just on there the other day and they had some really cool prints and textures and even bags with like fun designs on them. I think I saw one with like a banana. I don't know, just something cool. Don't be afraid to, to do something a little bit funky with your bag. Rule number three is your shoe game. A really cool shoe can really take any just simple basic outfit and really make it something um, a little bit more special. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, some examples that I have in my own closet for you to kind of see for yourself. So I like to substitute these French Connection slides with my for my just basic black flats. I get so many compliments on these and I feel like they go with any outfit that you would normally wear just your basic black flats with. For my next shoe, I decided to show you guys my leopard lace-up loafers that I got from Lord & Taylor. I've seen just basic leopard flats everywhere, but this is a little bit more girly version of a just solid leopard flat. I think these are great for work because they do have a little bit of a heel, um, but yeah, they're very comfortable because the heel is like, so small. And for my last pair of shoes, I'm gonna pick these studded Zara boots that I actually scored on Poshmark. I was so excited about these. I think I bought them, I bought them off some girl for like 10 bucks. I was like, oh, I win. I win on that one. I'm obsessed with these boots. They've got a little bit of a cool kind of Western vibe to them. So, you know, being from Texas, I'm like, oh my God, these look like cool Texas cowboy boots. So I had to have these. And again, the heel is super low, so you're not uncomfortable all day. My last rule is called the cool factor rule. This is kind of adding something with a cool factor to it. 
So let me just give you an example because I'm sure you're like, what are you talking about? I'll just start with the tops and then we'll go into the bottom. This blue top is just a basic blue button down. The cool factor to this top is the ruffle detailing in the back. You know, you can find a blue button down anywhere, but you know, to make it a little bit more special and a little bit more interesting, find something with detail on it. Have like a little ruffle or a small little detail of print or just some kind of texture. Something to show that this is different from any other blue button down that's out there. And my next top is one of my most recent purchases and I'm obsessed with this top. It's not a plain basic printed top that you can find anywhere else. It's got texture, it's got detail, it's metallic, it's got a cute um, girly shoulder to it. This is kind of a good alternative for any just basic printed long sleeve shirt that's out there. And moving into the bottoms, one of my favorite pair of bottoms that I own right now are these leather culottes. I feel like these are so cool that you can honestly just throw on a white t-shirt with it and maybe a cool shoe and you're like good to go. And you can honestly style them so many different ways but you still look great because it's kind of a unique cool piece to have. It's top. Is that my lamp? Oh, it's my lamp. It's like something's on my head, but it's just my lamp. Those are my rolls. I hope you love them. Um, and now I'm sure you're asking yourself, okay, great, those are your rolls. Now how does that help me in the morning get ready faster? Let me tell you. Whenever I'm getting ready, either pick out my outfit the night before or that morning, I pick one of the four things. You pick one of those items in your closet and then you build your outfit around that one item. For example, yesterday, I had no clue what I wanted to wear, so I followed my own rule. I picked out my leopard shoe and I built an outfit on that. Even though it was just a pair of black skinny jeans and a white crop top, it was still a put together outfit because I had my shoe game on point. I threw on my black long blazer that I showed you guys and good to go. It took me 10 minutes. So, before you get ready in the morning, trust me, apply one of these rules and I promise you will have an outfit outfit picked out <laughs> and I promise you'll have an outfit picked out in less than 10 minutes. I suggest before you know applying these rules go through your closet see what you have first of all. I think that's what a lot of our issue is is we don't even know what's in our closet. Maybe once a month go through and see what you have don't be afraid to get rid of stuff. Don't be a clothes hoarder. Take it to Goodwill. Really have pieces in your closet that you love and picking out an outfit will be easy breezy and you won't end up hating your outfit by lunch and be wondering why you chose to wear what you wore. So if you guys have any questions about this or you're confused about something, please hit me up on Instagram or comments below. Send me a personal message. I love talking to you guys. I get so many messages um, through YouTube and through Instagram and it makes my day knowing that um, you know, I'm inspiring someone or helping someone. I kind of want to do a Q&A at some point also, so um, definitely hit me up on Instagram or here, even Snapchat. I'll put my Snapchat info right here. It's Smashly Brooks. Don't know why I picked that username. I hate it, but I realized that you can't change it, so I'm stuck with it. Yay! You ever hate that when you're like you make a username or like your email is so embarrassing? Like think about your email from high school. What was it? Leave in the comments below what was your email in middle school or high school? What was mine? Oh god, it's probably best that I don't remember. I think it had something to do with a Britney Spears song, but I can't remember. What was it? I'm gonna think of it and I'm gonna tell you guys what it was. So now that I have shared with you my four style rules, go ahead and share them with somebody else in your life. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm trying to do more style videos um, because I love doing them. So let me know what you guys think or what you want to see next. And don't forget to comment below your embarrassing email address or username. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. finishing stages this is kind of what it looks like as you can see I've just got random pieces that have just little um, strands of color on it like I said before you're just gonna get a small